Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy Kyori, bringing you a different kind of video today. In this one, we'll be taking a look at killing bosses 50 times in Wonderlands. Now, I know you might be thinking, Tommy, why do we need to know this? Uh, I just thought it would give you guys a good indication of the drop rates for legendary dedicated drops and world drop from each bosses, uh, or, well, each big bosses within uh, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. So without further messing about, guys, let's jump on into this, shall we? So for today's boss, we'll be farming Lachance. Now he has, uh, he's located over at the Walktooth Shallows map and there is a save station right in front of his spawning area. So lead, load in at the Wreck of the Tempest Scorn and you're good to go. So Lachance actually has a few dedicated drops along with world drops. So getting legendaries from him has been pretty easy to be honest, but let's see what we find. So we didn't actually receive our first and second legendary drop till the 11th kill of Lachance. Now, I do want to quickly mention that I don't have the max loot luck you can actually get in the game. It is good, but it's not the best, so keep that in mind as the higher loot luck means the easy legendaries will drop. But we did manage to get ourselves a quad bow and a bad egg from this run, so not entirely bad. Now, so far we've only managed to get 3 world drops off of 12 runs which I find interesting because I usually never re like receive war drops from while farming this guy. However, we did just get a Chaotic Threads of Fate, which I'm pretty sure is a dedicated drop from the Obelisk boss Lesia. So that's, that's pretty good. And if you're curious, I am actually using the Queen's uh, Cry as my uh, main weapon of choice for this farm, as I was lucky enough to have the Spore Warden enchant that has a 20% chance of causing explosions after using Barrage, which is super effective against bosses in my opinion for my build. Um, over our next couple of drops, we did manage to get another class mod and two back-to-back -back cannonballers, which with the, uh, oh, and along with a snake stick as well, melee weapon, it's pretty good. Now, at this point, the video was going for way too long, so I decided to speed it up a little bit here. So for the next several runs, we only managed to receive yet another class mod, the dedicated peg leg legendary drop from Lachance, along with a twister spell, which is again another dedicated drop, but from the Banshee, which I found really interesting because farming the twister spell off the Banshee took me forever. So yeah, an easier way to get it, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, guys, so we're finishing off the last few runs, managing to get ourselves a sword explosion, and I'm, I might add a chaotic sword explosion. Obviously, a uh, much lesser chance of getting a chaotic version or a vol volatile version. Um, oh yeah, so that was on run 46, and for the final run, we also did manage to get ourselves a diamond guard sword, which I'm not sure about you, like, like for you guys, but I seem to be getting them like crazy ever since the last update. So I'm not sure if they've messed something up, but. I legitimately have like 20 of them already from like every Tom, Dick and Harry seems to be dropping them. But yeah, so if you guys are getting them, let me know down in the comment section below. And anyway, guys, so we're going to end off this uh, 50 farming runs of Lachance with 10 world drops, one peg leg, two cannonballers and one chaotic sword explosion, which was pretty interesting as we had an 8% chance of him dropping a dedicated drop whilst having a 20% chance of world drops. Um, now again, I don't have the best loot luck, so keep this in mind if you're doing your own runs, probably go, f um, probably be best to go and find all of the loot luck dice before actually really investing the time into these farming sessions, because it did qu take a fair few hours to actually, uh, yeah, get all this done. Alrighty guys, so that's going to do it for our first Wonderlands farming slash loot run guides. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to drop a like and consider subscribing. Uh, to the channel, hit the notification bell so you'll never miss a future upload. And until next time, guys, peace.